Sizing the tangular airbag based on recommended and maximum velocities for resilience. In the previous video, it was talked about sizing the round airbag using velocity reduction method. So, in this video, you will be learning sizing rectangular airbag using the same method. Velocity reduction method can be used for sizing. Uh, air decks by using this method you can select suitable velocities for sizing deck work so when sizing air deck the velocities will remain constant for entire the system and it will result a lower friction loss value and larger deck size compared to the equal friction method the recommended velocities for residence, uh, main rectangular air deck is uh, 700 FEM and 500 FEM for branches deck. And the maximum velocities for residence uh, for main rectangular air deck is uh, 800 FEM and 700 FEM for branches deck. Example, there is a design airflow rate of 1400 CFM and we have been asked to find the sizes of uh, rectangular air deck for design recommended velocities of 700 FM for main deck and 500 FM for branches deck as you can see in the example uh, 1400 CFM flowing through uh, main deck minus uh, 400 CFM for B1 and B2 that leaves 1000 CFM for M2 again minus uh, 400 CFM for B3 and B4 again that leaves 600 CFM for M3 minus 300 CFM for B5 and 300 CFM for B6. To find all these branches and main deck sizes, we'll use this formula the air flow rate divided over air velocity square root 4 times area divided by pi times 12 inches divided by 2 r square times pi divided by height or width of hair deck. Let's start sizing the deck for 1400 CFM first. So 1400 CFM divided by velocity of 700 FEM uh, square root 4 times 2 divided by pi times 12 inches divided by 2 uh, square times pi that gave us 288 so this is the area of main supply uh, deck for the 14 Android CFM at design recommended velocity of uh, 700 FEM so 288 square feet can be divided over the height or width of the main supply deck or based on your own needs you can determine how many inches the height of your deck needs to be uh, for example let's say we want the height of our main supply deck to be 10 inches and it's weight 28.8 inches so we simply can divide 288 square inches by the height of 10 inches that give us 28.8 inches so the same way for all men that should be done by dividing the total area of deck over the height or 
over the height of 10 inches or a different height as you wish um, next one uh, uh, 1000 CFM divided by a velocity of 700 FEM uh, square root 4 times 1.428 divided by pi times uh, 12 inches divided by 2 square times pi that give us 205.7 square feet so if you divide 205.7 square inches over 10 inches height will get 20 inches 0.57 by 10 inches the next one 600 CFM divided by 700 FEM square root 4 times 0.857 divided by pi times 12 inches divided by 2 square times pi that give us 123.4 square inches so 123 so 123.4 square inches divided over 10 inches high will get 12.34 by 10 inches so for all branches the same way it should be done uh, let's say the height of brand that need to be 6 inches and its width 9.6 inches so you can simply divide the total area over the height of branch over the height of branch deck you'll get the size of 10 inches by 9.6 inches so 12 so 200 cfm divided by sine velocity of 500 fm square root 4 times 4 divided by pi times 12 inches divided by 2 square times pi that give us 57.59 square inches so 57.59 square inches divided over 6 inches height will get 9.6 inches by 6 inches next one 300 cfm divided by design velocity of 500 fem square root 4 times uh, 0.6 divided by pi times 12 inches divided by 2 square times pi that gave us 86.40 square inches and then 86.40 square inches divided over 8 inches height will get 10.8 inches by 8 inches so as you can see these are all the required sizes that we have just determined them by using the recommended velocities so that's it for today I appreciate you for watching this video <laughs>